Hey guys, welcome back. So as probably saw from the title, this is going to be my current full coverage foundation routine. You know, sometimes with my foundation routines, things switch out. So I might be trying a new foundation, or I found a new favorite, or I rediscover an old favorite concealer or whatever. So things are always changing. But in this video, I'm gonna show you my like go-to tried and true full coverage foundation routine. So if I have like an event to go to or something special, and I just want products I know I can count on, these are some of my favorites, my current favorites, but also some of these have been favorites of mine for years. So these are just go-to great products that I'm using in this video. So yeah, I don't know what else to say, but if you wanna see how to get just a full coverage, flawless skin look, then just keep watching. So first I start out with some kind of moisturizer. If it's during the day, I like to use one with SPF. So right now I'm using the Murad Anti-Aging Moisturizer has broad spectrum SPF 30, and it says for blemish prone skin. This is a really cool line because it's acne fighting, or ac like for acne prone skin, but also anti-aging, which is hard to find that combo. So I'm just gonna apply that. I also put it on my neck and decollete. Then I'm gonna use some of this Benefit Puff Off I really like this for under my eyes because I've got some under eye circles and puffiness and this like looks like a little like a little um, iron and it's really cooling. I love this stuff. And I'm not usually a primer girl but lately I've been using my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer and I really like it. So I just apply this right into my T-zone. I don't know, I just feel like it helps with pores and fine lines and just really helps the longevity of my foundation. So I've been using it lately. So when I want an absolute full coverage, never fail me foundation, I always go to my Estee Lauder Double Wear, stay in place makeup and I wear it in two in one desert beige. And I'm just gonna get a little bit of that on, this is a Beauty um, Junkies brush. This is a flat kabuki. So I get about that much to begin with and I just apply it starting out into my T-zone and then I just blend it out. And I'm more kind of, I don't know, how, what would you even call this? Like strokes? I'm not really like buffing necessarily, but just kind of like softly applying it because I think it helps kind of like get it into your skin but also not have any kind of harsh lines or um, weird brush strokes. Like I find if I use just kind of light pressure like this, it helps to really blend it. And I'm gonna take a little bit more, again, in my T-zone, starting there, and just blending out. And really, I just apply, you know, anywhere else I need a little bit more coverage, like I have some discoloration on my cheeks, so I put a little bit more there. For some reason, when I have a blemish, it loves to leave a scar in this area on my cheeks. I don't know why. But the double wear um, does dry pretty quickly, so you do need to work semi-quickly, you know. Don't be talking like I'm doing now. <laughs> And then anywhere that you want even more coverage, you can kind of dab it. So instead of wiping or buffing, you can dab it, and that will really help give you more coverage in that area. So that's just a little example of that. I did have a little discoloration or something up there, so added just a little bit more there. Now onto the concealer parade. I use multiple concealers because I find that that's just what works for me. So that's what I'm gonna do today. First, I'm gonna start with my Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer. I wear it in ivory. I love this, it's really brightening. So you gotta kind of like get it started when you first um, get one of these, but once you, I mean, this one's already almost gone. So once you get it started, it's fine. So I just put a little bit underneath my eyes like this, and then I'm going to blend in that kind of um, triangle shape to really help brighten that area but also so you don't have that reverse raccoon. Bringing it down really helps to brighten up your face, but also help conceal those dark circles. 
and I'm using a Sephora Pro Airbrush 57 brush. So you can see that even that right there made a big difference. I love that concealer. It has such a nice creamy texture to it. This is one of my must have concealers. When I run out of this, I'm like, I need more of my Dream Lumi. It just isn't the same when I don't have that concealer. Next, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles, and I wear this in light. And I'm going to uh, just kind of like dab that right in that same area. I don't use quite as much of this. I just, I don't know feel like I need to add it on top for some reason and just kind of blend this around in the same area but concentrating it more on the inner part just a little bit more another one of my must-have concealers is the Mac Pro Longwear concealer I wear it in NW20 so I use this as my last step for my under eye circles but I also use this to spot conceal anywhere on my face um, under my eyes I use my fingers but on my face sometimes I use my fingers Sometimes I use the same brush, um, but it just kind of depends on like how it's covering whatever the situation is and if I feel like, you know, a brush would be better, my finger, or whatever. And this one, I concentrate it on the darkest spot of my dark circles. So right in the corner, right underneath. So you're wanting to go underneath the bag with an under eye circle if it's got, if it's raised, like mine are just a little bit. You want to go underneath the bag, which is the darkest spot and where the shadow is really concentrated. Is the shadow concentrated? It really is where the shadow is. So by applying it there, you're really helping bring out that area. So not only concealing the um, dark discoloration, but also helping to um, hide that change in the depth. You know what I mean? Because this part is puffed out this part is sunken in. So if you can bring in that sunken in part, it's gonna make this puffy part less obvious. And I do blend it over with the rest of the other concealers. So concentrating it there and then blending it over. And a lot of times I do apply some of my Pro Longwear concealer to the end of my nose and like the sides of my nose, because I notice that it's a little bit more red. And also I always have texture issues on my nose. Like it gets a little bit dry. And, but then it'll get oily during the day. It's just like, what is up with you nose? What's going on? So I find that just applying a little bit of concealer there helps the you know longevity of my foundation and just helps smooth everything out and make it look better. And now I'm gonna set everything. So for my T-zone, I like to use the NARS All Day Luminous Powder Foundation. I wear it in Light 2 Mont Blanc, and I love to use my e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush. This is my favorite brush for setting my under eyes and also just my T-zone. I'm just gonna get a little bit of that and I'm just kind of dabbing it especially underneath your eyes you want to dab you don't want to do a lot of brushing because you don't want to disturb um, the concealer underneath so for here I like to dab and then for a light dusting of powder on the rest of my face I like to use my Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Face Compact. I wear it in light 15, and I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. complexion brush, whatever kind of powder brush that you like, but just apply a little light layer of this. I like this powder because it's, I don't know, just kind of a an easy do-it-all. It's natural looking, it's light, it's good for setting. Just a great powder. Now I'm gonna apply some bronzer. One of my very favorites is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I love it because it's just right in between a cool tone and a warm tone bronzer. It's very neutral, so it works for contouring, warming up your face. It's just easy. It's matte. It smells like chocolate. I love it. So for like contouring um, in here and on my forehead, I'm gonna be using my Sedona Lace FB05 brush. And then for my neck, I love the Delium Tools 992 brush. And I do have a video on how I contour and highlight. In that video, I use the Kat Von D um, Shade and Light palette, but the kind of like techniques are pretty much the same that I usually use, so I'll link that down below.
For blush, I'm going to use one of my favorite, just everyday, go with everything sort of blushes. This is Benefit's Rockateur. I love the packaging, but it's just a really pretty, like, glowy, pinky, neutral blush. It's just a no-brainer. It just goes with everything. And I'm using my Bobbi Brown blush brush. Rockateur is already a pretty glowy blush, but I'm going to add a little bit more glow with MAC Soft and Gentle MSF. And I'm going to be using my Sephora Pro Contour 79 brush. Alright guys, so there you have it. This is my current full coverage foundation routine. So sometimes I switch up some of these products, so like occasionally I'll switch out the foundation or I'll use a different powder, but I wanted to show you this particular routine because these are like some of my tried and true, never fail me sort of face products. So that's why I featured these products in this video. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful for you. Let me know down below what some of your favorite products to use are for a flawless face. I'd love to know some of your favorites. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video.